Today's surprisingly voiceover and short review about Kurahi LP20, uh, my newest vest, which I will be using in 99% of the time for airsoft games and sometimes at the shooting range. I will share my first impressions, some technical details, uh, why it's configured the way it is uh, and what else might potentially be added, uh, as well as mentioning a discount code for you. Just to be clear, I received this vest for review, so this is a sponsored content, but I will be as honest as possible for you guys. So let's start from the beginning. It's their own variation of the JPC20 from Cry. Uh, well made with minor cosmetic changes. Uh, the vest model is just well known to everyone. It's direct action type of vest, uh, designed to be worn for a maximum of a few hours in action. Uh, it works great for lightweighted setups where you don't need a lot of uh, gear. For heavier loads, there are larger models like Cry AVS or even their Nevada. However, due to the possibility of adding some extra stuff, it can be also used for meal sim events where I won't be doing 40 kilometers a day. Uh, let's say I don't wear ballistic plates, so weight isn't that a big issue for me. As some of you know, Kurahi is Polish manufacturer of equipment that makes high quality products from original materials. I can honestly say that gear is well made and suitable for professional use, not just playing with toy rifles. The original Cry Precision 500 Cordura, uh, ERR material, which means it doesn't shine in night vision. Multicam tapes, good simple stitching, no loose threads at first glance, a really nicely made vest. I don't know if it's just my sample, but I really can't find anything to complain about. Uh, maybe somewhere a single loop of the molly tape is slightly narrow uh, or wider, but pouches fits easily. Uh, or, for example, the front plate back corner, there is an excess of material by about half centimeter. But still, these are just com cosmetic changes, so they don't affect the use in any way. At least I know that someone physically made it, uh, and it's not mass production. Regarding the vest construction, it's lightweighted with back zipper, so you can attach any panel in Cry standard or just YKK zipper. I have here a crazy pod backpack variation, also from Kurahi, and all the pouches here are also from Kurahi. Um, I did it for a 2 liter hydration blader and bottles for my HPA replica. Uh, there is still some space left for the energy bars or two free magazines uh, or some tools. I have same setup in my Slickster, this, this one is made from Emerson gear. And for me personally, the multicam velcro right here is just a plus. It's a matter of taste, if someone wear a patch on the back, it doesn't even matter. Under the high pallet on the shoulder, there are two uh, QR strings that if you pull it hard, the vest simply falls off. For me as an air software, it's not really necessary, but it's a must have for a professional use. In case of injury, removing the plate and accessing the wound is just immediate. On the side, there are lightweighted camera bands. You can attach ballistic pouches, but I don't need them because as I mentioned, I'm just airsoft geek. On the left side, I have a simple flat cargo pouch. I have the same one on the bison belt from Condor. On the left, because probably of the two reasons. First, I'm right-handed, so my right elbow is closer to my body uh, most of the time. Let's agree, the second hand is just used much less often, uh, only in direct combat situation. So most of the time, when the weapon or replica uh, is at the sling, uh, it's just more comfortable to have more sp space on the dominant side because even in the case of quickly drawing the weapon, it's just much more comfortable. The second reason is that it's on the left. Uh, on the right, I have a radio with uh, in an internal pouch, uh, cables and antenna, uh, so there is already some pressure on my chest. Uh, 
if more things were hanging here, it would be just more uncomfortable. Plus on the left side on my belt I have two magazines, so if the cargo pouch is packed to the brim it's more difficult, uh, difficult to pull them out, uh, but there is uh, always a compromise. Also there are elastic so it's not that hard. In the front I've got simple front panel for free magazines with these semi-flap covers. Uh, I've never been a fan of this type of pouches with flaps. Uh, I always prefer the open tops with this, you know, elastic cord. Uh, but it just, you know, looks cool so I took it. It also allows for mounting a small pouch or tourniquet uh, on the front if needed. Uh, where if the flaps were full long uh, it wouldn't be, you know, uh, possible. Now uh, what's missing and what else will be added here, uh, I will definitely attach a dangler, probably from Ferro Concept, uh, it will also fit my Slickster. Uh, it's small, flat, perfect for my, you know, tools, snacks, etc. Uh, also the JTAG admin pouch for my phone and, you know, some organization things. Typically needed for sims where we often use various apps like RS Alpha uh, or for reading maps. Uh, so I will need to have place for my phone right there. Probably another pouch will be added to the right camera bound for one or two magazines. It will be relatively forward, so it shouldn't bother me at, you know, at my elbow. Well, that's enough details, let's move on the short summary. So, it's a great alternative for those who don't want to bother with finding a cry JPC. Properly made, without any complaints. Uh, the quality of the materials and color for it are big pluses, apart from minor cosmetic shortcomings like the previously mentioned excess of material which doesn't affect usability in any way, there is nothing to complain about. In your sample there is a chance that everything will be perfect. This is the best for people who know what they want and need. Uh, in times where we have a lot of manufacturers with various solutions, this is just nice tested alternative uh, from a domestic Polish market. Uh, also, you know, suitable for professional use. And I promised a discount code, Mike10, for 10% of the order value. More in the video description. And thank you guys for today. Leave the like, leave the comment, leave the subscribe button. I really appreciate it and see you in the next one.